Have you ever had an idea for a side project but never actually built it? If so, you're not alone. Most developers struggle to get started, not because they lack the skills, but because of a mix of fear, perfectionism, and simply not knowing where to begin. In this video, I want to break down the biggest reasons why most developers never start a side project, and more importantly, how you can push past them and finally get building. One of the biggest blockers is imposter syndrome. We covered this topic in the last video. If you missed that one, the link will be in the description below. You might feel like you're not experienced enough to build something useful, or that your code isn't good enough to release into the world. The truth is nobody feels ready when they start. The best way to overcome this fear is to just build something, anything. The more you create, the more confidence you'll gain. Every successful developer started with projects that weren't perfect. The key is to take action before you feel ready. A lot of developers fall into the trap of wanting their side project to be perfect before they even start. You might spend weeks planning, overthinking features, or getting stuck choosing the perfect tech stack. But here's the thing, your first version doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to exist. Start small, focus on an MVP, minimum viable product, and iterate from there. Shipping something simple is way more valuable than never shipping at all. When I first launched my Chrome extension Fast Folders, it was honestly just a bare-bones MVP. No fancy UI, just basic functionality that solved a simple problem I had. And I think that's the key, it solved a problem, it didn't need to be perfect, it just needed to work. Over time I started getting feedback, improving the experience and slowly adding more features. What started as a minimal project is now something that's being used by people around the world, and it's even started to generate revenue. There's something powerful about seeing your own idea evolve from a scrappy first version to something real that people actually use. It's one of the most motivating parts of being a solo founder. You get to watch your product grow and take shape with every update. I don't have time is one of the most common excuses, but let's be real. If you have time to scroll social media or binge Netflix, you have time to work on a side project. You don't need eight hours a day to make progress. Even just 30 minutes a day can add up. The key is consistency. Set a small, realistic goal for each week, and over time you'll be amazed at what you've built. Another common struggle is not knowing what kind of project to start. The best advice? Solve a problem you personally have. Some of the best side projects come from scratching your own itch. It doesn't have to be a, a groundbreaking idea, just, just something useful that makes your life, or someone else's, a little easier. Start simple and refine the idea as you go. What if no one uses my project? This fear holds so many developers back, but honestly, the worst case scenario is that you'll learn something new, which is still a win. Instead of worrying about failure, focus on the process of building. Success isn't just about launching the next big thing. It's about learning, improving and growing as a developer. There's never going to be a perfect moment to start your side project. The key is to take that first step today. Pick a simple idea, commit to working on it consistently and don't let fear hold you back. If you push through these common obstacles, you'll be ahead of 90% of developers who never take action. Let me know in the comments, what's one side project you've been thinking about starting? Maybe this is your sign to finally go for it. If you found this video helpful, drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, keep building.